Welcome back, my friends. This is Eduardo Restrepo, Mr. Roboto, and today we're going to continue with the Bexcode BR tutorial. And we'll, we're already learning a couple of things. We're already learning in tutorial number one how to do uh, like different shapes, how to move the robot, right? Tutorial number two how to use the color sensors and uh, solve the color maze. And today we're going to do proximity sensors, touch sensors, uh, some logical operators. We're gonna see what are you supposed to do with them, okay? So hopefully we'll be good for you. Okay, first things, these are my other videos in Spanish. Remember we have the tutorials here in the Mr. Roboto channel. Now for Bexcode BR, we're gonna go ahead and show you more or less this is what we did last class and uh, the last tutorial um i'm just gonna go ahead and open a new one and what we are going to do right now is open the castle crusher one castle crusher is one of those maps that you can use in two different ways. We're gonna do it in two different ways. I can either crash all the blocks that appear there and take them out of the square of the of the uh, map itself, or I can I can try to navigate avoiding them. So I can do either or. Yes, either or. So I can do it both ways. So we're gonna learn how to do it both ways. Okay. First part, I I think is the probably the 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 easiest one, which is just crashing, taking everything out. So <laughs> we're just gonna do something like this. We're gonna use the forever block. Remember, we need to change the language. We can do it here. And all I'm gonna say is, you know what, my friend, just drive forward, just just go, crash stop, please do it. Yes take it out and I'm gonna put a condition we already saw condition in the last tutorial so a conditional is gonna be something like this if yes is sensing with the down eye with the down eye sensing red the text red remember we can change the color here it's gonna buck up and just turn yes Okay, I'm gonna see how to do different turns in a moment. So I'm just gonna do a turn of, I don't know, 120 degrees. So a little bit different. We're gonna see how we can randomize that as well. So I can just, I'm just gonna go and reverse a little bit. Why? Because in that way, I guarantee that it's not gonna be reading the actual um, line, the red line. Okay, so if I do that, it's gonna do some something like this. Very simple. Right? Just go straight, stick stuff out. Bye. And when you touch something, just move. Right. Remember, if I want to do it faster, all I have to do is put the set velocity and drive and um, turn velocity and drive velocity a little bit higher to a hundred percent. I'm just gonna show you how it would be faster. It's the same thing, same block. Look at the difference when it's faster, since it's, you know, a little bit stronger. So it didn't take out those blocks. See how, how it works now? <laughs> okay, so that can be one way. That's one way to do it. I can also add a couple of more things. I, I can say also, hey, you know what? if another um another block another sensor we can use the touch sensor for example and i can say hey you know what if he's touching if he touches with the left bumper every time he touches something with the left bumper just turn a little bit to the left yes like turn to the left i don't know one degree yes so that way it's going to be like following the, the object, right? And I'm gonna do the same with the right bumper. Remember, we just 
right click and duplicate or command click if we are um, in uh, a Mac computer. But it's the same thing, right? Okay, here we go. Another conditional. Let's see how it works now. So it's doing it. Look, if it's touching, but look, it's touching with both. So it has it has a problem, right? Okay, okay. So maybe not a good idea. So I can leave this out. So it, it probably works better with this, but that's a way to do it. I can just do it. You know what? Turn with the left bumper first. And then if it's st still touching, turn it with the right bumper. I don't know. So a condition inside a condition. Maybe wait one second. Let's see. I'm just adding stuff. Oh, look. A little bit better but it's touching nothing is happening so it's better without this these are the f type of things that we need to explore just to see if it works or it doesn't I mean it's the type of thing that I want to just go ahead and try to see if it works things like that okay now let's do the opposite let's do that we don't crash we don't crash okay so what I'm going to do in, in order to avoid crashing, I'm going to put another conditional with an operator. The operator is where I'm going to evaluate if the distance, if the distance is less than something. Okay. So if the distance is less than a hundred millimeters from the object is gonna just drive reverse and turn yes okay i'm gonna put it here as the first conditional and this is what's gonna happen look since it detected something it's turning back and just avoiding the obstacles right i can work with that in order to it avoids obstacles i can do it with the random so i can just pick a random degree between 90 and 150 and now it's going to work a little bit different see very cool so what is the objective right now that you learn how to do this just crash stuff or just avoid stuff play one or the other who lasts the longest without touching an object for example or who uh, takes out all the objects faster okay you can do like your own uh, competition with your friends and that would be fun uh, that's an, one thing you can do that's it so those are challenges you can actually set up with this if you're a teacher instructor you can tell that to your students hey why don't you go ahead and try to avoid see it, it just touched an obstacle so and every time it, it touches an obstacle I give you negative points or something and look oh my god that can happen <laughs> mine is just is just crazy right now anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this but it worked for a while so try to play with that and that's how we use that the operators those are logical operators i use the less than operator i can use the more than or the greater than or the equal we use the pick random yes um logical operators that we can use so i think that's it remember please to subscribe to our channel if you have any questions please write a comment and that's it. That was everything for today. This is Mr. Roboto, Robotica para mentes inquietas, robotics for curious minds. Ciao, ciao.